Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. I'm Paul Allen and the subject of today's video is the books you should read. As a business consultant I'm essentially a voracious reader. Uh, I'm constantly reading up on Six Sigma, constantly reading up on Lean, constantly reading other business books, uh, looking for principles and things that I can use to improve the businesses of my clients. And today what we're going to do is we're going to look at a group of Lean books, we're going to look at a group of Six Sigma books, and a couple of, uh, a couple of sports books as well that I find really useful uh, as an application into business. So I'm going to start off with Six Sigma, and I'm going to start right at the beginning. Um, here's book number one. Um, it's by a wonderful guy called Walter Stewart. And if anybody's wondering where Six Sigma came from, this is it. Uh, this book, by the way, was printed in something like 1939. So if anybody thinks that Six Sigma's new or the latest thing, uh, Stewart was introducing the principles of Six Sigma way back 60, 70 years ago. Um, it's a little bit mathematical uh, in places, but it introduces some fantastic principles and really helps you to understand where Six Sigma came from. Because Six Sigma is nothing but world-class engineering, and this is where it all started. It's called Statistical Method from the Viewpoint of Quality Control, and it's by Walter Stewart. My advice also would be to read anything by Stewart because this is the genesis of Six Sigma. Understand the subject, guys. So that's, that's book number one. The second book, oh wow, this is a, this is a mighty tome. I'll let you uh, take a look at it from the side. I think there's, there's something like 1,600 pages in this thing. Um, it's called The Quality Control Handbook, and it's by a guy uh, called Joseph Duran. And if ever this contained everything that Six Sigma is about, this is the handbook to be reading. Um, it contains uh, the famous uh, Duran uh, trilogy, uh, which really Six Sigma is based upon. This is a 1960s text. Once again, Six Sigma is not new. This is just a world-class way of running a manufacturing company. So let's talk about the, the Duran trilogy. Essentially, in that book, he introduces the idea of, number one, can you design your product or, pro, or, or service correctly? That's step number one. And of course, what he's interested in here is from the customer's point of view. Can you design your product or process to simply please the hell out of your customers? Because that's really what business is about. If you are great at pleasing your customers, you will have a world-class business. The second stage of the Duran Trilogy, can you design can you design a process to deliver your product or service? Okay, so you've got a great product, then you've got to design a system. If we're talking about manufacturing, it's going to be a manufacturing system. You've got to design all the processes, maybe an assembly process. Can you design a process that delivers the product as the design was intended. And step three, can you control that process? This is all about world-class engineering. This is about the technicality, the technicality of your design the technicality of the process that delivers that design and the technicality of controlling that process. And this is where Six Sigma comes in. Can you design it? Essentially, that is what turned into design for Six Sigma. All the tools and techniques that are world-class engineering are in that quality control handbook. Design for Six Sigma, can you design it properly? By the way, 
And also design tolerances properly. Can you design it so that your tolerances aren't too tight, but they do the job to please the customer? Once you've done design for Six Sigma, then production Six Sigma kicks in, desi define, measure, analyze, improve, and control. You need to design your process correctly, and you need to control your process correctly. That is the Duran trilogy that's contained in the Quality Control Handbook. You can see there's loads of things in here. It isn't just this. There's tools and techniques to help you to do that as well. So there's the how as well as the what in that textbook. It is a great book. Predates Six Sigma by 25 years. Go read all about Duran. An accompanying book to that is Duran on Leadership. Um, I have to be honest, uh, over the time that I've been consulting, what I tend to find, uh, I've worked for a number of Japanese companies. Japanese companies are world class at management. They are the best management that I've ever come across. Um, I tend to find, unfortunately, British leadership and American leadership um, not quite so good, but the principles of what drives the Japanese is all in, in here. So this is an accompanying text. The technical guys are doing the great stuff and making sure the products are working, the management are supporting that using this textbook right here. So that's a second Duran book. Um, then we move on to some books by a guy named Don Wheeler. Now I, I've got to be honest, I've only got two textbooks here, but anything by Wheeler is simply superb. Um, Wheeler gets to the principles of understanding variability. He sometimes get a, gets a little bit mathematical, but I have to say most of the time what he does is very, very practical, very understandable. This is a great book, Understanding Variability, Understanding How to Get Rid of Noise in Your Process. Um, the key to managing chaos, as, as he's described it there. If you have variability in your company, you have chaos. You travel to work every morning and you don't know what today's going to be like. That would be chaos. The answer to your problem is in this very simple book. I think it's just 80 pages. So great text, easy to read. Second book by Wheeler, Short Run SPC. So not only does he talk about the principles of getting the process under control, he also uh, covers some of the technical tools, SPC being one of them. Uh, quite honestly, if you run any kind of manufacturing process, you cannot make it run at its best without statistical process control. If you want your machinery to be at its best, making the most amount of money, that's what it's about. SPC is an absolute must-have. And this book, again, how many pages? 60 pages. I have to say, it's 60 pages of gold dust. There is money in that textbook right there. Go read anything by Wheeler. It is terrific. Then we get a little bit more statistical. Um, this is a book about um, design of experiments. Uh, it covers the design of experiments approach by a gentleman by the name of Taguchi. Uh, it's not a book by Taguchi. This is by Ranjit Roy. Um, what I would advise you is any book by Taguchi is terrific. Um, it links into the stuff that Duran talks about. Um, some of the great design for Six Sigma work was done by Taguchi. This is a design of experiments book. His design of experiments techniques are very practical, quick, and easy to understand. Anything by Taguchi, anything covering Taguchi's principles is a really good read. This for me is a reference book. Um, occasionally I get stumped with a particular problem regarding design of experiments, and I'm, I'm often found thumbing through this book for the answer. So, um, but anything by Taguchi is really good. And finally, um, this is my textbook, Drink, Drink Tea and Read the Paper. Um, and the reason I mention this, if you've been on one of my courses, and uh, one of my Green Belt courses, one of my Black Belt courses, I guess the script to the course is contained in this textbook. So it's a nice accompanying text I can't say I put myself in the category of all the other authors that I've just mentioned, but it's a nice accompanying text to the Green Belt or Black Belt course, and it's a practical how-to book. There's very little mathematics in here. It's really about why. Why am I going to do this maths? Why am I going to do a proper sample size? Why am I going to use 
probability calculations. Why would I want to bother? And it, it just tells you how to, to make money with the mathematics. And that's what it's, it's practical for me. That's what it's all about. So that covers the, um, the six Sigma textbooks. Now we're going to take a look at some lean textbooks. And again, I'm going to kind of start at the beginning. Uh, this would be the, the book I would recommend as a starter text. Uh, it's The Machine That Changed the World. Uh, it's a book about research from the 1980s that said, why are the Japanese so much more effective at making cars than the American car industry, for example? And um, it's a great book to understand where the, uh, the Toyota um, production system came from. Um, and it is a book that helps you to really understand lean. Lean is one of the most misunderstood techniques that I know. Um, as Six Sigma is in a way, they are both about pleasing the customer. They are not necessarily about saving money, which everybody tends to, uh, to think they are about. They are about pleasing the customer primarily. This tells you the thought process of Toyota and where it came from. And there's some great little nuggets in here that help you understand lean so much better. A little example would be um, in here, they talk about single minute exchange of dice. The idea of making setups really quick and efficient inside your company. Um, consultants like me turn up to companies all the time and sell them uh, single minute exchange of dice workshops. We'll spend a few days and we'll sort it all out. Um, in here, if you read about single minute exchange of dice at Toyota, they spent 25 years perfecting single minute exchange of dice. And it's one of the great lessons of Toyota. Their irrepressible uh, kind of enthusiasm for continuous improvement. They haven't just been at this for one year, two years, five years. They've been at continuous improvement for 70 years. And the idea of spending 25 years to protect, to perfect single minute exchange of dice is just beyond the comprehension of most businesses. That's why Toyota are absolutely world class at what they do. Read about how to be world class. So I mentioned Toyota. Here's a nice text, um, the Toyota way. This is the, um, the theory book. So there's an awful lot of theory. The, the 14 management principles are covered in here. Uh, the Toyota uh, thought process, I suppose, is covered in here. And again, it's a great book to learn about what lean is really about. It's about pleasing customers. It isn't really about making money. Although subsequently, you get great at doing this. One of the great spin-offs is you make a lot of money. That's the two out of the way. Um, a good text that goes with it, so this is written by the same author, Jeff Leiker, is the Toyota Way Field Book. You can see, look, that there's a few uh, post-it notes in here. This is a book that I use uh, constantly with my clients, and it's a how-to book. So when you start saying, I want to do workplace organization, I want to do standard work, I want to know how to plan the factory properly, you can dip in here, and there will be a lesson on how to do this. This is the how-to book, and it's a nice accompaniment to the theory book. But I have to say, the best, accompany to this, best accompaniment to this book is this thing. It's called The Gold Mine by Frederick Ballet. And it's a storybook. It's not a textbook. It's the story of someone trying to make their factory be lean. They're currently in chaos and they would like to take the factory lean. And if you read these two books together, this book shows you how to apply these tools. It shows you which order to do them in, why, the, why, to, why you would do them in that order. So those two texts read together are really, really powerful for the understanding not only of lean, but how to apply lean properly. And that covers the books that I'm going to recommend uh, on Lean and Six Sigma. And just to finish off, I've got a couple of um, accompanying books, uh, and they're sport related. Um, this is a great one, and this is all about being world class, by the way. Will it make the boat go faster? Uh, by Ben Hunt Davis. Now, Ben won the Olympic gold medal in Sydney. He was part of the men's 
rowing aid. So he was a rower, and it's the story of the three and a half years of hard work, I guess, to win uh, a rowing gold medal. It's the story of the three and a half years of hard work that led to them winning the, uh, winning the Olympics. And again, it really relates so well to manufacturing, to running a business. There's some great lessons in there. So uh, I would definitely recommend that. Will it make the boat go faster? And again, a similar book, which is about being world class, um, a book called The Pressure Principle by uh, Mr. Dave Aldred. Uh, for those of you interested in rugby, Dave is the gentleman that taught Johnny Wilkinson how to kick a rugby ball. Um, it, it isn't the only thing he does, but he understands how to practice to be world class, how to understand what world class is, and to just make it a repetitive process so that world class becomes a habit. And he shows you how to do this in this book doesn't have to be about kicking rugby balls, by the way. You can definitely do this inside your business, whether it's manufacturing, service business, learn how to be world class. That's what these guys are all about. And that just covers my, um, my book collection that I'm recommending today. Um, it'd be great if you went and read them. Hopefully you will see the same insights that I've seen, maybe some others that are relevant to your, uh, your business situations. Um, hope you read them help you enjoy them. But regardless of whether you read my books or someone else's, my advice would be, if you want to be world class, go and read, go and learn about your subject. Go and see who's, who's world class and how they do it. Without a shadow of a doubt, it'll relate to your business.